Hello Live Wires, Heather Boyd Wire here. Today we're going to make some triple flower rings. What you're going to need for this project is 18 gauge wire, 22 gauge wire. I have some colored 20 gauge wire. This is the artistic wire. To get started we'll take a 6 to 8 inch of 18 gauge wire and we'll start in the middle. We want to do a circle. So we're just going to bend that at an angle, do a complete loop doesn't have to be too big. We're going to bring it around and then out. And then we want to do another one. So we're going to bring it up, bring it around, just make a complete circle, bring it all the way around and like that. So this way the circles are centered. And then we're going to do one more over here, bring it up, around, flip it, and we're going to bring that all the way around, down, and across. So the idea is that we have three circles and they should be somewhat evenly spaced. From there we'll get our ring mandrel. We're going to just push it, form it around, all the way around, so if you want to close the back and still make it adjustable, hold it with some flat pliers. Take this and bring it through. You can bring it just around there and wiggle it as you go. Flip it, hold that in place, take that and through the ring band. So again, we can wiggle it around a little bit. You could go around once or twice, clip it flush this one to clip it flush and we're just going to pinch in those pokey ends. Just pinch that in and you'll see this is still somewhat adjustable. So from there if you need to kind of straighten these out a little bit so they're flat. That's the starting point and then we want to do our flowers. So we're going to take about a 6 to 8 inch piece of the colored 20 gauge wire and we're just going to take this, bring it around, form a circle. We're just going to bend this back and forth to make what's going to look like petals of the rose. So just bring them back and forth, back and forth, maybe for about an inch or an inch and a half. We'll just work our way around to form a rose. If you need more petals, bring it back and forth again. These are really just free form. So around and around and around and around. And then again, you can bring this one around here. So once you're happy with it, we just want to end these on the back. So this is going to go straight up in the back. This one's going to come close to that one and then also go straight up. We can take both ends and put them through this loop. Make sure your loops are big enough to put two wires and we can make sure one wire goes to one side and one wire goes to the other side. And then we want to just push it right down there. And then we're going to split these. One's going to go one way and one's going to go the other. And then to secure it in place, we're just going to take this one and go around the band once and this one too. We're just going to go over, push it right towards that loop, take it around, pull it with the pliers, give it a good little tug. We'll clip that one in there flush and clip that one. And then you could leave it like that or you can add two more flowers. It's easier if you just pull it down with your pliers so one of the wires is on one side of the band and one of the wires is on the other and you pull it right down until it goes down. Kind of clicks in place so just push it if you have to with your pliers. It'll just like fit right in there. Take one of these wires, bring it all the way around you want it finishing on the top, clip it, and then this one, you'll see you have room to wind it around probably once there. So bring it all the way around 
and just make sure you clip it so it's more towards the surface and not underneath the ring. So now we're going to pinch it and then you can always push it in too if you like and then we'll do one more. So there we have the three flowers on there and it looks super sweet. So for the second design, we're going to take 22 gauge wire and just make a tiny little flower. So we just want to bend this with the round pliers and very small, about an eighth of an inch size petals. And we're just going to go back and forth and back and forth. And we just want to do five petals. Keep them as small as you can. We're going to bring it all around, bring it in towards the center. You want the two wires finishing on the same side and then we're going to bend that straight up at a right angle. Flip this one over so it's on this side and then we can start the bend with the round pliers. Just going to hold that in place and go around a couple of times just to fill it in a little bit and then bend that straight up you can adjust it with your flat pliers. Make sure it's somewhat centered. I just did the three circles without finishing the band yet. I'll go ahead and put this inside one of the loops. And then as we did before, just take your wire and, and just bend it around a couple of times. Clip it and same on this side. Make sure it's right in there and we're going to bend it around a couple of times. Not too many times or you won't have room for the wire. So clip that. You could pinch it in and then we'll get the next one. Put it in the hole again. Separate the wires and then bend them around. Clip. Flip it and bend this one around, clip it underneath, and the last one, stick it in there, bend it around, clip it, and this one too, make sure you get between those petals and clip it. So it might have got a little mangled, so you can go in with your pliers tighten up some of those bends. So here we have three flowers. You could even do little beaded daisies if you want. I have another ring tutorial for a beaded daisy. If you have small enough beads, you can do tiny beaded daisies. And now we're going to put it on the ring mandrel, bring it around, all the way around. If you want to make it more fancy, just bring it around another time. If your wire's long enough, you can get away with this really push it together and then to finish it take this end and bend it around this ends a little longer so we can just take this bend it around and clip it and then we can push this one in there again if you need to put it back on the ring cone after just to pull it all together you can push these bands together a little more and there you have your beautiful triple wire flower ring. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out our work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to submit your email, I will send you my free Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.